Hey guys, good evening. Hope you guys are having a wonderful night. Yeah, it has been a windy day for out the few hours in the Ozarks. So as I check in the Springfield area, there's a wind advisor that is still in effect from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. Monday. So as we check out the latest information, um, I'm going to be checking out your weather story for you guys. So gusty winds is expected on Monday, but power outages probably may result or so, but as we check out the impacts or so, wind gusts up to 45 miles per hour from the northwest are expected in the wind advisory during the early morning hours. Elsewhere, winds will gust throughout the day at 25 to 35 miles per hour. For the impacts, loose objects will be blown around difficulty for high-profile vehicles. And then for actions, make sure to bring in or tie down loose outdoor objects to drive within caution and give high-profile vehicles extra room so you don't get in a crash or so. So make sure to not get in a car crash during the winds for the high-profile vehicles, so make sure to get extra room because um, because just to stay safe on highway or so. And then um, for Springfield, the winds will be gusting to 35 to 40 miles per hour. And the same thing for Monette and then for Anderson. And for um, Hartville, the wind gusts will be to 30 to 35 miles per hour. And then for Ava, Branson, and then for West Plains. And then it will be expected for Houston, Salim, Rolla, Waynesville, Lebanon, and Osage Beach. And then Russell, oh, Oskola or so. And then for Greenfield. And then this will be the Maximus heat, or no, the Maximus winds. Sorry, pardon me. There will be Maximus winds in Pittsburgh and in Fort Four Sky in extreme southeast Kansas, with wind gusts up to 45 to 50 miles per hour in Pittsburgh, and then it will be 40 to 45 miles per hour with Four Sky. So it will be really windy. So make sure to keep all of your things safe, and power outages may result or so. Once again, Brain in or tie down loose outdoor out objects and drive within caution and give high profile vehicles some extra room. For um, Monday, it will be um, elevated fire conditions. So it will be elevated right here, the orange. Um, for fire conditions, um, low afternoon humidity combined within gusty northwest winds will create an elevated fire danger. But no outside burning is recommended. No outside burning is not recommended. So yeah, fires can spread rapidly in these conditions. And for actions, please do not burn anything else. So avoid burning outside. Do not burn trash or yard waste and do not throw out cigarettes. Because just for your precaution or so. And uh, do not also burn anything else like tree branches or so. And um, that's what it will be. And um, as we go over to the latest drought information. Sorry, I'm, give me a minute or something. All right. Latest drought information. Extreme drought is D3 that was in, introduced in part of southwest Missouri as continued dry weather worsened the drought conditions. Severe drought. D2 expanded over parts of southwest Missouri, as well as over the past week, while the areas of moderate drought. And for D1, and in poor normal dryness, D0 remained similar. Little to no rainfall is expected over the next seven days, so we're usually great for now. The drought is expected to continue into October and may continue to expand based on longer range expectations. So before I, before I start getting off this, um, I'll give you some more details for the seven day forecast. So yeah, for tonight, it will be mostly clear with the lows are at 59. And for Monday night, or no, for Monday and Monday night, which is Columbus Day, it will be becomes becoming sunny and clear with the highs around 74 and then 49. And then for Tuesday and Tuesday night, it will be sunny and clear with the highs around 81 and the lows around 52. And then for Wednesday and Wednesday night, sunny and mostly clear again with the highs around 86 and lows around 55. And then for Thursday and Thursday night, mostly sunny and mostly clear with the highs around 80, uh, no, 66 and lows around 39. And then the humidity is 76%. Wind speed 
south 17 gusts to 30 miles per hour. The barometric pressure is 29.76 inches. The dew point is 64. The visibility 10.00 miles. And it was last updated on October 11th at 10.52 p.m. Central Daylight Time. And it's 72 right now. And for the hazardous weather conditions, there's hazardous weather outlook. Anyways, hope you guys have a good night. And I'm going to go to bed. And hope you guys have a good night. Stay safe while you're sleeping stuff. And have a good day. Or have a good night. Yeah. Have a good night.